What's up, weirdos? Welcome back to Mr. Survival, and today we are about to begin day two. That's right, first day was uh, pretty good. We uh, we went and attacked a bandit camp, and we rescued Kate. Look at that, we rescued Kate. It was a, uh, a pretty good day. Uh, we didn't get a vehicle, so that is my goal today. And I think that zombie just died, so I think we are safe to go outside. Uh, one thing I want to do today is get a battery. And then we're going to get our truck going. Uh, so that's the main goal today. Uh, I also have an, a, a place in mind for our base. Um, I'm thinking I want to build in the town. Uh, there's a building over there that, uh, that might be perfect for our base. Uh, so I'm thinking I want to build over there. So that's the plan. Uh, we're probably going to head over that way once we get our vehicle. Uh, I, I'll have to move a bunch of stuff and everything, but uh, that is kind of what I want, want to do. You can see it is 5 a.m. It is early in the morning. I like to get off to an early start if I can because the mist usually shows up sometime between 9 a.m. and uh, usually about, I don't know, 5 or 6 p.m. So I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. There are some homes over here. They are inhabited by the infected, so I'm probably going to avoid them if I can. I'm probably going to go behind this one just so they don't run out. Because it is still pretty dark. I don't want the infected chasing me. Uh, there is a camp over here. Looks like a... Uh, just like a little camper type setup. Uh, if you go up on that hill, that's a bandit camp. That's the uh, the easy bandit camp. The first one uh, that most people, were, most people like to warm up there. Uh, I went and just rescued Kate at one of the... Uh, one of the medium-sized camps. We're going to go ahead and get our bag upgrade here. So there you go. Two more slots available. And we're also looking for an axe. There should be one back here. There we go. So now we have an axe. That's something I've been uh, been meaning to find. <laughs> and now we've got one. Uh, we've also got a pop right there. Uh, we got to be careful about what we pick up. We may have to leave some stuff. Uh, because I don't have... A crazy amount of room. We have um, we have a decent amount of slots, but that's it, it fills up quick. It it will definitely fill up quick. Um, my goal is to find a battery. I know we can find another engine down this way, so uh, we can uh, kind of double up on the engines. We also got a car over here and another bag upgrade. I'm gonna grab the gas. Now we have almost a full can, which is awesome. Okay. Let me go ahead and grab the bag upgrade. So there you go. Now the two slots. We just need seven more, and then we're completely full. So that's pretty cool. We've got some matches here. We'll grab those. Another saw. It's always good to have backups. And then a little bit of food. Okay. So the food and water. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a little drink right now. The food, uh, I was down to just one can of beef. That's all I had left. Uh, so we're definitely going to grab the food. And, uh, let's see, this way, if we go this way, it should lead us to that engine. Uh, so there's the bandit camp right there. We're going to avoid it as much as we can. I don't really want to get shot right now. This is a fake battery. Uh, it is not real. I wish it was real, but uh, it's not real. But this is a real engine. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And it is 36%. So not not great shape, uh, but we'll, we'll take it anyway. Uh, so now, in order to get a battery, we can either smash up these cars. Sometimes you find batteries and spark plugs. But I know where we can definitely find one. Now, it's going to uh, it's going to be a little dangerous because there is a bear over this way. So we may have to shoot a bear. I don't really like the idea of shooting a bear, but uh, you know we are going to have to harvest him for meat. And um, other stuff, but I'm not quite ready to do that just yet. So we got to look out for him, see where he's at. If we can avoid him, that would be really nice. I really don't want to waste any shots on the bear this early in the game. I don't see him. Let's let's climb up on here. We all, we also have this right here. Oh, and another tire right there. All right, let's grab the tire. And uh, we'll throw the rags and the bottles in here. I don't really need that on me right now. The pop we can throw in here. We have a few back home. Uh, an extra saw. Yeah, we'll throw that in there. I'm going to keep the axe on me. I'm going to throw the extra water bottle in there. I might keep the food on me in case I get hungry. And the matches can go in there for now. 
All right, so there we go. Um, you know what, backup vehicle parts can go in there too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. I'm gonna scroll this out. We're just gonna drop it right there for now. And we're gonna take a good look around for that bear. I really don't want to have to kill the bear if I don't have to. See over that way? He may be stuck behind the motel. Sometimes they get stuck over there. Let's climb up here. And look around. I don't see him over this way. I hope he's not in the gas station, because that's where I gotta go. Yeah, I think we're good for now. Our, we got lots of stamina, so we're okay. If we do see him, we're gonna have to jump up on something. That's the best way to kill him. Or you could, uh, you could just shoot him with the shotgun. That works too. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's right over where I want to go. Oh, man. That's right where I want to go. Because you see that over on that, uh, there's like a stack of pallets over there. And there's a battery sitting on top of it. We're going to have to kill the bear, guys. Oh, man. I don't like this. Oh, man. We're going to have to kill the bear. Unless he moves. I don't think he's going to move. Well, that is going to complicate things. I really need to get up on top of something. Now, he might come over to the fence over here. I might be able to kill him through the fence. I did that, uh, I think, in my first or second season. I killed the bear through the fence. Um, he doesn't see me, though. Yeah, and he's coming over this way, so I might have to jump up on the bus. I think he's going to leave the gas station area. Maybe. Looks like he's stuck. Oh, man. I don't like this. There's really nowhere over there that I can jump on top of and truly be safe from the bear because he's got a long reach. He's coming back over this way. I might be able to get him through... Might be able to get him through the fence if he comes over this way. He's just going to hang out over there, though. That's that's not good. So what I'm probably going to have to do, I'm probably going to have to get his attention. And then pull him towards me. But I'm going to have to jump up on something. And one of those cars is not going to work. It needs to be something a little bit higher up. Oh, man. I could jump up on this locker over here. Hey, bear. Yeah, I can jump up on these um, these cabinets over here. Um, I might have to shoot them, guys. Yep, okay, here he comes. Jump up there. Okay. Where's he at? Is he coming in here? I hear him. Oh, man, guys. Um, can he not get in here? He used to be able to. See, this is what's, what, why I'm so scared, because if I walk out there, he's going to be right there. Oh, man. Well, here's the workbench. We're going to need to take this once we get our truck. Uh, we're going to put this on the back of our truck, but, uh, man. Where is he at? Oh, no. Where'd he go? Oh, you know what? He's leaving. He walked through the gas station. He's gone over there. We might be able to get this right now. I did waste one round. But, you know what? We got the battery. That's what we really needed. Alright, so what I want to do now is I want to get out of here without uh, having to deal with the bear. There he is over there. I hope I'm far enough away from him. He's not charging me, so I think we're okay. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back and get the truck. Now that we have everything we need. Going to go get our truck and get all the parts onto it. 
And then we're going to go around and we're going to pick up some things. Uh, we're going to need to grab the workbench. There's also a saw bench that I'd like to pick up. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that today, though. There's, there's, a, lo there's a lot of lockers out there that I want to grab as well. How are we doing on stamina here? Uh, we're doing okay. Just keep running. Now, I believe these things, you can actually smash these up. And I am going to need the lashings. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and grab this axe. And let's go ahead and hit this. And we'll get some parts from this. Now, you can do this to any of these as long as they're not uh, your base. You can't destroy your own base. But uh, if, if it's not set as your base, you can do that. We'll grab the feathers. I'm going to need those for arrows. And once we kill the bear, uh, we'll be able to get guts. And then uh, we can go ahead and make a bow. I, I'm probably going to kill the bear next video. Yeah, it's probably going to happen next video. Now, this house over here, they have uh, some infected. This house and that house down there. So we've got to watch out. We're going to take a wide berth. Because it is still dark enough that they might come out and attack. So there we go. That that actually went uh, went okay. I was hoping I didn't have to shoot the bear, but I think I had to just to get him out of there. And I'm glad he kind of walked out the back. That was really nice. Very nice of the bear. A very kind bear. We will be shooting him tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and there's Kate. She's uh, just standing here staring. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe maybe uh, the bandits tortured her or something. Uh, that's very possible. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put some of this stuff away. Um, I don't need this stuff on me. Yeah, there we go. Uh, the battery we're going to need. And we're also going to need the engine. You know, This is actually a 19% engine. It's not as good as the other one, but you know what? That's fine. We can switch that out later. I'm going to grab all my tires. And there we go. We've got everything we need. We're going to go ahead and save. It's always a good idea to save. And we're go, we'll go ahead and put everything on the truck. So there we go. Uh, the tires, they take 10 minutes each. So 40 minutes total. It's a good idea to do this early in the morning when you don't have to worry about a mist. Oop. Cancel that accidentally. There we go. Proceed. We'll get all the tires on, and then we'll put the battery on. It's 100%, which is very nice. It's always good to find a 100%, whatever it is. 100% spark plug, 100% engine, 100% battery. It's rare to find a 100% engine. Um, but you can find 100% batteries. Tires are usually 100%. Yeah, this engine is 19%. The other one is 36 so... <laughs> I, I doubt we're going to find anything uh, much better than that. All right, and then we'll go ahead and put all the gas in here. We're up to 17 liters. That is pretty nice. I also have that other gas can. Do we have any gas in it? Might as well fill it. Might as well. Let's see. Uh, zero. Okay, well, we don't have any in there. I think I think the other gas can that I found that had gas, I think I left it over there at the army camp. All right, so now, uh, what do we want to do now? Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and have, an, have a fruit can right here. Bring up our hunger and our thirst. So we should be good for a while. Um, the knife, probably should keep the knife on me. Probably don't need the M4 on me right now. I'm going to put that in here. And then the components. I'll throw the components in here. There we go. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go and take a little ride around. And the first thing I always do before I get in the truck, I always save. Because uh, this game has always been a little glitchy with the vehicles. Yeah, you see how I kind of glitched a little bit trying to get out of there? <laughs> yeah, that uh, that's normal for this game. That yeah, is normal for this game. Alright, so we're going to go around and we're going to grab everything that we left behind. So these little crates right here, we're going to grab these. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to right-click on this, because I do have my gun in my hand. Anytime I have my gun in my hand, 
I right click when I'm dropping stuff. Because if, if I left click, there's a good chance that uh, it'll probably go off. I'll probably end up shooting the gun and I'll waste some ammo and it'll definitely scare me. It'll scare you guys. So we'll just put this right here. And then we're going to right click. There we go. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. And let's continue on. Gonna go past all these cars, and I did leave a locker over here, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, and while we're uh, driving around, we can also do some looting if we want to. Although I need to, I need to leave space for the uh, need to leave space for our workbench, because I want to grab that too. Um, F drive. There we go. Yep. Oh, turned it off. Turn it back on. There we go. All right, and then I think I left a suitcase up on this hillside, right? Pretty sure. So we'll go up here. I think it was right up here. Oh, I just ran over it. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All right, so suitcase, there should be some stuff in there. I'm going to go ahead and stack that right there. And we might be able to might be able to fit another one in there if I do that. Yeah, there we go. All right. And let's drive up here. There was another suitcase up here, if I if I'm correct. Yeah. And there's a chicken right there. We could we could kill the chicken. They will give us some food, but I'm gonna hold off on that. They also give you feathers, so that's one way you can get feathers in this game. All right, and yeah, just place you right in there. If you'll go in there, might not want to go in there. All right, well let's uh, let's drive and see if it stays on there. Sometimes it doesn't. No, it didn't want to stay. All right. Um, what if I just stack you on top of the other one? That might be my that might be my best bet. Um, I'm trying to... There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Now let's test that. Will that stay? Yeah, that stays. Okay. So there we go. Uh, now, we're going to make a turn down here. And you know what? We've already driven through this area on the, um, on the left. Let's go to the right And let's come down here. There are a few places we can loot up. We do have space, so might as well do it. Get a few extra things. Uh, there's a spawn point over here. Pretty sure it... Yeah, it's right here. So we'll hit this up. There might even be a bag upgrade over here. There is. So there you go. If, you're, if you want to get bag upgrades quick, go around to all the spawn points. That's usually a, uh, a pretty good tactic. All right, a little bit more gas right there. It's always good to grab the gas. It does respawn after, I think, 30 days. And then we got some food, another axe. Some more stuff there. That's perfect. And I can go ahead and bash this. We'll get some more rope and some other things. There we go. Perfect. All right. And the leaves, I guess I should pick up the leaves too, because I'm probably going to need the leaves for crafting. So we'll do that. And I don't think I can smash any of this stuff up. Oh, I can smash this up. Let's see what we get. Probably scrap. Yep. All right. A little bit more scrap. That's nice. Okay, and uh, I checked in here, right? Yeah, I did check in there. Okay. Well, let's continue on. I think there's another campsite over here. Yeah, right down here. I see another camper, so let's go up here if it'll let me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good stuff. And let's loot this up. Sometimes there's stuff on top of the campers. 
like ammo and guns, so we'll check. Nothing there. Uh, nothing back here. I wish I could take this firewood. Can't take the firewood, though. We'll grab the scrap. Uh, there's another axe here. So now we have three axes. So that's nice. We had zero yesterday. So uh, already we are looking pretty good. Okay, more bottles. And there's some more rags right there. Okay. Some more boards. And what do we got here? A knife. All right. Now I'm going to leave this little case. You could take it with you, but it's it's only two slots. So... Really not worth grabbing the gun cases. Alright, and I think that was it here. The wheelbarrow. Sometimes you can smash these up. And you can smash this one up. There we go. Let's do it. Probably going to get clay and maybe some scrap. And the components. There we go. Okay. The clay is not really useful. I don't really use it. Um, some people, they, they make a lot of clay pots and stuff. I don't really do that. So, for me, it's not really... All that useful. Uh, let's see. What else in here will stack? That'll stack. Uh, we can throw the extra saw in there. We'll throw the clay in there. Rags. Okay. Um, now, what did I have in here? I have nothing in there. What about this other crate? Let's check this. We have spears in there. Okay. Well, we can put these other axes in here. Actually, I need to keep this one on me. There we go. And we'll throw this stuff in here. Okay, and then uh, you can go in there. All right, and now um, boards. Okay, there we go. Uh, I there's actually some more rags here in that that one suitcase. So I'm gonna grab these. I'm gonna throw this extra knife in here. I'm gonna throw the plank in here. Okay, and then we're gonna grab the rags and put them in there. There's our other spark plug. Okay, and then we'll throw the scrap and the components in there. And the biofuel can go in there too. That'll be good. We'll close that up. We can save. And now let's turn around. We're gonna work our way over towards the um, the gas station down here because I want to grab that workbench. We also have another suitcase right here. Look at that. Nothing in it. We do have some stuff here. Okay. Um, get out of there. There we go. Escape. And more gas. We'll go ahead and grab the gas. And we do have to worry about a mist. Now that it's after 9 a.m. So that could that could very well happen. Oh, there's no spark plugs or anything in there. Okay. Nothing in the back seat. Alright. Well, let's grab you. You're a little glitched right there. Come on. Come on. You can do it there. Come on. Eh. Eh. There we go. We got it. Alright. So now I'm just going to place this on top of the other ones. You can stack pretty high, I think. Eh. Okay, well that's on top of the locker. I don't know if that's going to stay there. Let's go ahead and put it right there. There we go. Alright. That's a little bit better. There's another car over here. So we'll loot this up. There might be a tire here. Yep, there's a tire there. And then more gas. There's a lot of gas right there. We do have to worry about the bear over this way. He will uh, walk around behind the motel. And we are behind the motel. So he, we, might have, we might run into him over here. Alright, and then nothing in the back seat. Nothing on this side. Ooh, another suitcase. Wow. My goodness, there's a lot of suitcases, guys. Now, they're good for storage, but they're also good for fighting the infected. So, more on that, um, maybe later in the episode or in a future episode, uh, you can place those in front of doorways. And uh, the infected can't get past them, and they can't destroy them either. Now, that's probably going to change in the future, but as of right now, we can do that here on the old version. Now, the new version, I think you can still do that on the new version. Although, I don't know if there's any suitcases on the new version. I don't remember. Yeah, there, there are. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know if you can do it. I don't think I tried that on the new version. So, you may or may not be able to do it. 
Now, we're taking a lot of damage to our axe, but the good news is we have plenty of axes, so I'm not too worried. I'm gonna climb up here, and we're gonna throw... Let's see, what can we throw in here? I'm trying to keep everything kind of organized if I can. You can throw that stuff in there. The tire can go in there. Um, where did I put the clay? Did I put it in here? I think I did. No, it might be in the locker. Let's check the locker. Yeah, there's clay right there, and there's scraps. Okay, good. Alright, and then we can throw food. Did I throw food in this, uh, this one? No, was it in this one? Might have been... I don't know which one it is. Let's throw, let's throw food in here. There we go. And the feather in there. Okay. And let's loot up the rest of this little campsite. Uh, there's a candy bar right there. More rope. We'll check behind. In case there's an axe back here. No. We can climb up on here, though. There's usually a gun up here. Yeah, there you go. There's a shotgun. So if you don't want to fight the bandits and uh, steal their shotguns, you can get a shotgun up here. That is definitely uh, an option. More scrap right there. Okay, good. I think we got this all looted over here. Let's come over here now. More scrap. Yeah, we'll grab the branches, I guess. Can't smash that up. All right. There was another branch over here, I think. Eh, I don't know where it went. I was going to grab it, but I don't see it anymore. All right, blueberries. You could grab the blueberries, but they don't really give you much... Uh, much food. You could use them for like bringing up your stamina though. Oh, another candy bar there sitting on the ground. There's a rag. And that's a fake rope. Okay. More components. Branches. I wish we could take these water barrels. And these giant water storage tanks. I wish we could take those too, but we can't. Let's climb up on this trailer to see if there's anything up here. Uh, hard stick. I don't really need that. I've got I've got five spears right now, so I don't think we really need any hard sticks. And, uh, anything else over here? No. What about this? Can I smash this up? Yes. Alright. There we go. More clay. More scraps. More components. I, I'm. That's what I really want is the components in the scrap. Now, let's see. That did some damage to our axe. It's down to 83%. Okay, we have another one on us. I should probably put that away. We can throw these in here and that in there. We're up to five clay. That's a lot of clay. Wow. All right, and then... Let's see if I can get this situated a little bit better. Eh. It doesn't really want to. Yeah, that's... that. That's going to have to do. Alright, and then we'll throw this stuff in here. Throw the food in here. Um, I think I have another spot for feathers, so let's take a look. Not in there. Not in there. We actually got a decent amount of food right now. Did I put feathers in here? I don't know where I put those other feathers. Maybe I, uh, maybe I left them back at our base. That might be it. That might be it. Uh, the rags, though, I think those can go. Those can go in here. Those will stack. Okay, good. All right, and then shotgun can go in there. We can put the ammo in here and this uh, knife. This is the the only one that we have, so we'll keep that on us. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry if, if that took a while, but I, I wanted to get that all all organized as much as I can. It it really does help to do that. Further into the game, uh, you're going to thank me. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is dangerous right here. Oh gosh. We may have driven into a place where we can't get out of. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm hitting trees left and right. Let's get back out on the road. Alright. There we go. One more little campsite right here. So let's come over here and loot this up. 
I'm not going to smash those cars because I'm going to wait until I get a sledgehammer to do that. Boards. Boards. This is all crafting stuff that we're going to need. Nothing up here. What about back here? Nothing there. I know there's a lot of rope in this camp from what I remember. Oh, more scrap right there. More scrap there. All right, let's climb up here. Oh, look at that. Another bag upgrade. All right, let's take a look and see where we're at. We're, we need three more. Wow. So we're doing really good on the bag upgrades. That is really awesome. I know where we can find a couple more, too. So we will may we'll maybe go in that direction just to get this taken care of. All right, there you go. More metal scraps. You can also find bag upgrades at bandit camps. So we might we might take down another bandit camp pretty soon. All right. Here's some more food. How are we doing on inventory space? Oh, we're good. We got plenty of space. It helps that you get lots of uh, bag upgrades early in the game. Honestly, I, I think that along with uh, getting a vehicle, if if you can do two things. If there's two things that you should really try to do um, right out of the gates, it is get a vehicle and get a bag upgrade. Get a bunch of bag upgrades. Now, you can uh, you can forego the bag upgrades if you get the vehicle because you've got all this storage space. Uh, but it really does help when you're walking around looting. Uh, you can get a lot more stuff that way. All right, let's climb up here on this trailer because... All right, can I get up here? Yeah, get up here. Yeah, I just wanted to check and make sure there wasn't anything up here. Is there anything in here? Nope. All right, guys, let's continue down to the gas station. We've got to look out for that bear. I don't know where he's at. Oh, man. Yeah, this definitely worries me. Is he inside the gas station? Hold on. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, let's uh let's come over here. Just for just for now. I'm gonna climb up on here. Try to figure out where he's at. I don't see him. Oh man. See I don't like when I can't see the bear. That always worries me a little bit. Where is he at? I never know where he's at. Alright. Let's back up here. Try not to hit anything. Alright. Um, let's get out the shotgun. So we have, we've already injured him a little bit. So... He may only take one shotgun blast. From this point forward. Come over here. Right, he's not there. He's not over there. And I'm worried he's inside here. Oh man, guys. This is so scary. When you don't know where the bear is, it's definitely a uh, it's definitely a scary feeling. Maybe he's behind the hotel. I don't know. Hard to know. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and grab this workbench. Before I do that, I'm going to loot this up. So there's some stuff in here. There's a gear right there. Um, oh, more crowbars and saws and all kind of great stuff there. All right. And uh, can't open those up. We've got components here. We've got another tire. We've got more components. Anything up here? No. Okay. And the workbench, it actually stores some stuff too. So we can throw some storage or throw some things in here for storage. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. All right, and we're going to bring this over to our truck. I'm going to be looking all around for that bear. So I don't want Yogi to attack us. All right, and then we're just going to place this 
right on top like that, and it should stay. It should stay. Let's uh, let's just double check. Drive a little bit. This is the best way to find out. Yeah, it stays. Okay, so there we go. That is looted. Uh, now I have a little bit more space, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to loot up this gas station as much as I can. Oh, what was that? I just... <laughs> Did you see that, guys? The whole truck just tipped upwards. That was weird. Alright. Let's loot up this gas station. Uh, so there's a little gas. I don't feel comfortable taking the gas. Just because it's going to waste some time. And whenever you don't know where the bear is, that's, that's never a good idea. Uh, we've got a couple cars over here. We could smash those, but I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I think there's a baseball bat over here somewhere. I don't really need it, but uh, we'll grab it just for the sake of getting all the loot. And then is there anything over here? I don't think there's anything over here. There's a branch. I'll grab the branch. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where that bear is. It's weird that he's uh, just kind of disappeared. That's never a good sign. I uh, can't grab anything over here. Is there a uh, gas can out here? No, no gas can out here. Okay, so let's go inside. And we will loot this up. Can of pop. Another can of pop over here. Got boards. There's a can of pop. More boards. We've got lots of boards, so that is good. We'll be able to build some stuff if we want to. Can I smash up this TV? I would like to find out. No, can't smash that TV. Sometimes you can. Alright, more wood. I know I'm going kind of quick here. I just... I just want to avoid that bear as much as I can. Oh, there's some boots right there. Alright, let's grab the boots and an MRE. Alright, I want to put these boots on, so let's go ahead and equip. And there we go. <laughs> no shirt, no pants. But we've got vest armor, we've got gloves, and we've got boots. Yeah. Um, it's looking a lot more like Chippendales than uh, Miss Survival. Uh, let's go ahead and jump up here. And, uh, nothing up there. Okay. Um, there's some batteries right here and some duct tape. More components. There we go. Alright, well, um... Yeah, we're, we're, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. I just, just want to avoid that bear as much as I can. One more check around here. All right, I think we got this place looted up pretty well. I'm gonna look over this way, see if I can see him. Eh, he must not be over this way. We can check in here for stuff. There's gas, Ooh, ammo, and a bandage. Okay, there's another car over here. Oh, this could be dangerous, guys. Spark plug. Oh, it's 33%, but I just don't trust the game. I don't trust the game. Nope, we're not going to do it. I'm not that bold. Oh, is there something in the back of this? No, that's just clipping in there. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Uh, we've got a decent amount of stuff. I think we can probably head back now. I, I don't really have any more space for uh, storage containers or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and save. And we're going to hop in the truck. And let's head over this way. I think there was uh Wasn't there a storage container right here? There is. Did I hear the bear just a second ago? No. No bear. Alright, well let's grab this then. See if we can put this on here. I don't know if it's going to stay. It may not stay. Let's, uh, let's see. No, it stayed. 
Okay, well, there you go. So now, we're going to head back to our base. It looks like we're starting to get a bit of a mist. So I think what I'm going to do is probably call the video there. Probably going to go ahead and sleep through the mist. And then next video, we're going to head over to the town. Now, I have an idea where I want to build. And uh, I think it's a pretty good location. I don't, I've never seen anybody else build there. Um, I've, I've watched a lot of people's videos in the past. I've never seen anybody else build there. So I think we're going to go build there and make that our base. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to have to sleep this mist off because uh, I'm not dealing with the zombies. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little nap. Okay. And we're going to go for, we're going to go three hours. And uh, the zombies may not let me sleep. Let's go two. Oh. I think they're starting to break down. Yeah, they're starting to break down the wood. But the good news is they can't break through there. They can't break through there. And I can actually probably stab him with my spear if I want. Just got to get it right. Oh, yeah, I got him right there. Ho, ho, ho. There's two. Just gotta time it right. There's three, and he's stuck in there. Oh, can I uh, can I loot you? No, can't loot you from here. That's fine though. We we got him taken care of, and I'm gonna go ahead and sleep for an hour. You know what? I think we're gonna keep going on the video. I kind of want to show you where I want to build. I want to do that this video if I can. Okay, so I think the miss is over. Maybe. Oh, it's so hard to know. Sometimes it lingers. Sometimes it will linger. This guy's dead. He's got some sugar on him. Okay. And then this guy. He's got a fruit can and some military components. We'll need those for upgrading uh, different uh, benches and stuff. I think we need that for upgrading the reloading bench for sure. Okay. Another feather right there. Excellent. Excellent. And we are totally full. Okay, well, I'm going to need to put that stuff somewhere. Oh, oh, how did you get in here? I'm not going to ask questions. Uh, we're going to throw the ammo in here. Uh, the MRE, we could probably throw in here too. The wood I can throw in here. I want to make a little bit of space because I don't know if I'm going to have enough space in my storage because it's already getting pretty full. And I'm going to throw, you know what, I'm going to take a drink. Actually, I'm going to eat something. We're going to eat this beef can. And then we're going to take a drink. we got lots of pops, so might as well. I'm going to throw this food in here for now. And that should leave us a little bit more space. Yeah, that should leave us plenty of space. I'm going to throw this baseball bat in here. We'll throw the duct tape in there. Anything that'll stack, I'm going to leave the matches on me. Okay, and then this stuff. We're going to have to come back for all this stuff. But I don't mind doing that as long as we uh, as long as we don't have too much stuff on us. That should be pretty good. All right, so we're we'll close this up. I don't want any zombies going in there. They might find their way in there. You never know. All right, and we're gonna head on out. I left the truck on. I, I should never do that, but I don't think it wastes gas too much. Yeah, we still have 17 liters, so it takes a while for gas to go down in this game. It really does. So if you can get your truck filled up to 50, you probably don't have to worry for a very long time. So we're going to go down this way. Okay, and then I'm going to make a left right here. There's a lot of stuff that we have to loot up in this game. There's, It's a, bit, it's a big map. Um, let's see, where am I going? Oh, I think I missed my turn. Yeah, let's go down this way. I want to go this way. Yep, here's a road. I think this is a road. Maybe not. Oh, the road's right here. All right. There we go. Now we're on the road. Yeah, there, there's so many locations that we have to go to and loot up. We'll definitely do that. It's going to be... Um, I don't know. Usually my seasons last between 30 videos and 60 videos. So, we'll see. Hopefully this one will be um, maybe on the shorter side, because that would mean that we'll have a big update 
uh, on the new map. And I'm hoping that the uh, developer gets that stuff taken care of and gets an update out there. Gets all those bugs fixed. That would be really nice. I mean, even if he just fixed the bugs, that would be enough for me. Like, if the survivors would work and all that stuff and fix some of those other silly bugs. Uh, over here to our left is where we built for our very first season. So if you haven't done that, go back and watch all my seasons, if you want. And this is the town. And the developer took the town out of the, the new map. He, he does have a little, like, village town. It, it's, not, it's not that big. We're also going to have to watch out for bandits over here. They're going to spawn in any second. I'm going to drive over here. Just park over here. There's going to be some bandits. Yeah, there's one. Oh, right there. All right, he, he's coming after me. Hold on. Get in there. Okay. Drive. <laughs> Drive. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Let's circle around. All right, he's walking away now. So I'm going to drive back over here. There's bandits in this town. That's one thing that we're going to have to watch out for. We're going to wait for them to leave, because usually they, they kind of walk around and then they leave. He's kind of walking away. Yeah, that those guys over there, they're starting to leave. You see how they all start to just kind of leave? Um, so that's what happens. I, don't, I think that's a bug. But uh, the reason I wanted to build over here, we've got a pond right here. So I can grow food over here. Really, the only the only way that you can really grow food in this game is if you grow it right next to the water. Because otherwise, it's just not worth it, guys. It's not worth it. It's not worth getting a bunch of rain barrels, a bunch of water barrels, filling them up, and then taking them to your garden location. It just it just makes more sense to build right next to the water, or at least have your farm right next to the water. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're also going to make that building right there our base. So I think we're probably safe to drive over here. Oh. Getting shot at. Who's shooting at me? He's shooting at me. Alright, All right, so we took some damage there. He shot out our engine, guys. That Jagoff shot out our engine. And our spark plug. Well... That's going to be a problem. That's going to be a major problem. <laughs> we are a long way from our base, guys. We're a long way from our base. So I don't know what we're going to do with that. Um, I think I have that other engine on me, don't I? I hope I do. I don't know if we have another spark plug. But, uh, yeah, th this is going to be this is gonna be an interesting season. It's going to be a real interesting season. This is where I want to build. You see this this place right here? This is a nice... Nice building. It's three stories. I'm going to put the workbench right here. I'm going to close these doors because I don't trust this game. There might be bandits still walking around. Yeah, we're going to place the workbench right here. And just take a look at all the space in here. We've got space for workbenches and lockers. If you go upstairs, there's more space for stuff. And then you go up to a third story, there's space up here. This is the perfect place. And the best thing is I don't have to build any walls. I don't have to build any fences. The infected can't get in here. They can't break these windows down. And we're close to water. And we're close to bandits. If we want to harvest the bandits, you know, we can maybe build some pens or something. And try to figure out where they like to spawn in. And then just kind of build some fences where they can't get away. And then just shoot them. I know that sounds really sadistic. But uh, it is a good way to get some, uh, some um, loot and stuff. That way, uh, you know, you, you can uh, regenerate loot in this game a little bit. That's really the only way you can, like, get certain things like carrots and broccoli. So if we want to make vegetable stew, we're going to have to harvest the bandits. This might be the best way to do it. Um, so, yeah, the, we, can't, uh, we can't make this our base, though. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to build something probably in here or outside. Like a little cabin or a shack and make that the base. And that way we can bring our survivors over here. But I think this is going to be a really cool place. I think this is going to be a really cool place to build. I've never seen anybody build their base over here before. So I'm, I'm really excited to see 
how things go this season. It it, it may end up working pretty well. It may uh, it may be that uh, the banners are just too much over here. I guess we'll find out. But uh, I think we're gonna leave the video there. I want to check and see if we have a, an engine. So I don't think we I don't think we do. I really should have brought extra stuff with me, like an extra engine, an extra spark plug. That probably would have been a good idea. Uh, let's check in there. Nothing in there. All right. Um, am I stuck? Oh boy, I got stuck there. Don't crouch in the back of the uh, in the back of the truck. Don't do that. Okay, we do have an engine here, but I don't think we have a spark plug. I don't think we... Oh, we do. Oh, thank God. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the engine in here. And put the spark plug in here. The battery went from 100% down to 33%. That just shows you how much damage the bandits can do. Uh, to the to the uh, the vehicle parts. So try not to uh, hide behind your truck. <laughs> try not to hide behind your truck. Probably not a good idea. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload all this stuff and uh, try to organize stuff and put it away inside the building. And then we're going to have to go back to our base and get everything else. And then uh, next video we can get all situated here at the base, the new base. I'll set a uh, campfire down, we'll build that, we'll build a drying rack and all that good stuff. Stuff that we're going to need. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Share it with your friends. Subscribe to get more videos and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!